Hey, I wanted to do a quick video to help some of you um, see what I did here on my AU car Tesla style screen. Um, one of the good benefits is that you can run apps on this screen. And for those of you who have diesel uh, trucks, I got a Duramax, three liter Duramax, but uh, whether you got the six liter Duramax or maybe a Power Stroke, a lot of us put the uh, the bank's i dash right there and here's an alternative if you have the tesla style screen is you can get the uh the app and man i'm telling you i'm getting old the app name slips my mind right now but i will post it in the uh description or the comments section but an obd2 uh adapter is plugged into my truck to read the computer and the app is giving me all the information that I need that you probably would be looking at on the bank's iDash for around eight, nine hundred dollars. But instead, I'm looking at it on my screen. Uh, I picked the parameters that I wanted to see because trust me, GM is hiding a lot of information from you that your truck figures out and calculates in real time Man, I'm gonna tell you, probably a hundred different things that are in there. So when you're looking at banks, <coughs> I think you can you can do the same thing, right? You can pick out certain parameters. I don't I don't know if it'll do as many as I can do in this app. But as you can see, I got my soot levels, I got my distance between regions, I got the the distance since the last region, and I even threw a parameter in there to tell me how many gallons I could put in my fuel tank when I get to the gas station. Um, because again, that's a parameter that GM hides from you, but it's in the computer and this software will display it for you, um, among other things. And if I wanted to, uh, you know, look at some other parameters, I can just slide this over and it gives me you know, my instant fuel rate, um, my average speed, distance traveled, um, RPMs, how much fuel has been used, and there's some other things, but you know, I'm driving and I'm trying not to do too much. Uh, luckily my truck kind of drives itself, so, uh, but you still gotta pay attention. So that that's a different video that I've already done. So if you, if you like and subscribe to my channel, you can see uh, how I make my uh, 2020 uh, GMC Denali pretty much drive itself. So, I mean, since we're already in the truck, I'll give you a quick demonstration of that. As you can see, vehicles in front of me, and here's my hand. I'll zoom out a little bit if I can. I uh, guess I can't zoom out, but I'll show you. Here's my hand. The other hand is holding the camera. Nope, I'm not using my knees and uh the truck pretty much is going to follow behind that that vehicle you see in front of me and uh who needs the cyber truck man when i can have all the information i need right there and since it's a diesel swipe that back you know like like you would in a cyber truck i guess except it's baby's running on diesel not electricity but again uh truck still driving itself and i've probably driven a good half mile down the street and if i want to switch lanes see i put my signal light on truck switches lanes and follows the path right so heck the heck with the cyber truck get you a good uh, gm GMC, Chevy Silverado, and uh, and live your best life. Hey, I hope this uh, video was informative for you. If so, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll uh, try to create more videos for you. Hope you guys are having a great day. Enjoy your truck. Peace.